I don't have a relationship with God because I'm afraid of burning in hell. I have a relationship with God because he helps me in my day-to-day living. I have a relationship with God because if there is an eternal place to go live, I want to go see it. I figure, you know, as long as I ain't trying to step on nobody to get to where I'm going, look, you all going to make mistakes. Everybody's a sinner in here. Everybody in here broken. Everybody need help. I need help. I'm broken. You need God fixing you some kind of way. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you got. You need God. But listen to me. Don't you understand that that's okay? It's all right to have a relationship with God. Having a relationship with God is really cool. And you're looking at a street dude telling you this. But he changed people, you know. God changed people. If you followed my career any length of time, from the time I was back on the Steve Harvey show, all the way up through the Kings of Comedy, all the way up to 2005, you saw what my life was. But after 2005, he came and he got me, though. Because he got sick of me. And I got sick of me. See, you know what happened to me in 2005? I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was so sick of me. You know, y'all saw me on TV. Y'all saw this money I was making. I was miserable, man. I was at my unhappiest point in life all the way up to 2005. I was miserable. We was kings of comedy. The only time I had a good time was when I was on stage. The only time I had a good time, I was in front of the camera. I was with Sid and the boys. We was performing. When I got off that stage, my life was miserable, man. I was in a pain you would not believe. I was in an abyss, man. I was in a dark place. How? How in the world did I get here? I got here because of God's grace. My plight had overtaken me, and I was about done. But right when you think you're about done, don't he always show up? Can you name me one single thing God ain't bought you through? Can you name it? If he ain't bought you through it, he's currently pulling you through it right now. And you know how I know that's real? Because you're sitting in here. The God I serve, you can't put no limitations on him. If you just get out the way, he can show you something. He do miraculous things all the time. Why would you not want one of them miracles to happen for you? I'm sitting here for me to be here today. The dude that I was, it's a miracle. We pray little prayers. We pray stuff that we see a way to get. You, you're supposed to pray for stuff you can't see no way how you can get it. God is in the make your dream come true business. God is in the get your life together business. God is in the forgiving business. Don't let nobody fool you, man. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't forget to pray. Don't be ashamed to pray. And don't ever be too proud to pray because prayer, prayer changes things. Prayer changes people too.